All right, so I wanted to share with you the two brand new agents to our, our team. Um, and why is because one, they're new to this industry, and two, they have two completely different approaches and they've been having tremendous success. So I want them, I want all of you to hear their stories as to what they've been doing and how they've been able to achieve what they've achieved in such a short period of time. So we'll start with you, Will. Um, first person I'm gonna ask you about is how long you've been nurturing one of your childhood friends, Alex? It really wasn't until you took over the team and we had all the processes put in place that the nurturing really started to begin. So I would say about nine, 10 months now. Okay. And then I would say approximately three months ago, um, you had reached out to me and told me that they wanted to do a conference call. And you asked me to be on this conference call. Why did you ask me to be on this conference call? Um, I was willing to swallow my pride and bring in a true professional like yourself because the magnitude of these clients, it wasn't worth trying to prove something to myself that I could get it done. The right thing to do in my mind in, in general was to bring you out and try and have you close it and just give them better service than what I was able to offer them. And what's happening today? Uh, we are closing on an $808,000 investment property up in Sunday River. For Alex. For Alex, yeah. I think everyone watching would like to know how you mentally handle taking on the responsibility of four multi-million dollar properties as your first real estate transaction. <laughs> Um, I think the biggest thing mentally for me was kind of swallowing my pride. As I mentioned before, I am new to residential sales, but I had been in the business for about three years. So confidence was there that I could get the job done. And I touched upon it a little bit before, but at the beginning, it was kind of like I had something to prove to myself that I could get the job done all by myself. I didn't need you. I didn't need Joey. I didn't need Scott. Um, and to be completely honest, it, it was slow when I was doing that. Things weren't coming to fruition. Things were getting messed up. I don't know if it was necessarily sloppy, if that's the right word, but it, it wasn't working as well as it should be. And when I kind of hit that mark three, four months in, whatever it was, and really started utilizing Sam for literally everything, whether it was talking with a buyer's agent, or if it was speaking with an unrepresented buyer, or how should I communicate Joel, just kind of leveraging Sam for literally everything that I wasn't 100% certain about, everything seemed to change. As we said, two or both modern Martin Wood lots are both going to be under agreement. Both shipwright lots are going to be under agreement. We're going to have another shipwright lot all packaged up and ready to go in the near future. And then I was also able to find my buddy his first investment property, which is obviously unbelievable and means a lot to me. So I just think having that confidence in myself, but then also swallowing the pride and ego side of it and not being afraid to ask for help is when things really started to change for me and my business started to take off. Mr. Justin. Your approach is completely different. Um, and what's so amazing to me is you take a mixture of old school and a mixture of modern technology. It was told to me that you had approached Riley about doing a video. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, so last week uh, I met with Riley because you know, I've been having success with bringing builders and developers into the office. I think I've reached, I've gotten nine people into our office and there's a couple more coming in next week. So for me, it was like, I need, I need to separate myself and separate like what I offer um, in new development and stuff. So something that I can touch upon my clients in new development. So the people that I bring in, I follow a lot of builders and developers on social media either before I bring them in or after I bring them in because that's how I make the connection and follow up on the projects they're doing. Um, but they also follow me on social media. So I wanted to post something and put something out on my media that you know, is like attention builders and developers so that they can see what we offer. If I haven't brought them into the office yet, they can see what we offer and you know, 
maybe boost them to come in here and check it out. And if they've already been in the office, they can see the professionalism that uh, Brick and Barn offers. In our accountability meetings, I was telling you to stay mentally focused and keep the gas pedal down because it's going to be a little rough ride financially before you see any of this money. Do you remember what you said to me after that comment? Yeah, game over in 2024. Game over in 24. How is that for confidence? He's not letting off the gas pedal. Game over in 24.